know what I love that Jesus did for us? He defeated the devil. Come on. Hell has lost its power over you and over me. Let's try to come and sneak in and lie to you and say you're depressed. Let's try to come and sneak in and lie to you and say you're anxious. But what you've got to understand is your worship will always precede your breakthrough. I'm going to say a prayer and really going to believe for breakthrough in this place, for healing in this place. He is the God of miracles, of signs and wonders. Right now, in the name of Jesus, by the beautiful, precious, powerful blood that was spilt, by the cross that you hung on right now, by the grave that you defeated, we declare breakthrough in this place. The devil is defeated, and our victory is Jesus, in Jesus' name. And let's give him a praise right now. I really feel that music, worship music, has spiritual power. I believe it's prophetic and it can speak to generation upon generation upon generation. And I really believe that City Point had a touch of God on it for a sound that would change our generation. Uh, I felt people would be healed, set free through our music. So uh, we uh, sat down with Pastor Aaron at the time and uh, said we need to start writing our own worship music like there's something from heaven on us. And uh, I said it's going to be a bit tough. So I said we're going to stop singing other people's music and uh, force the issue about uh, writing our own and believing that God's going to breathe on that as well. It started from a raw passion for His presence. It started from a place of just, you know, God gave us this gift of, of, of writing and, and music and, and, and we just put it together and um, it really was just about the heart of capturing what God was doing in this community, in this local church. And, um, and then we continued to do another album and another album and it got to a place where God started to use our songs to resource the local church. And so if you could define it at the end of the day, it's about resourcing the local church with what God's doing in this house. I can remember being on tour, uh, talking to Joel, and I think I was giving him a lot of advice at the time, sort of saying what you guys should do. And, uh, and Joel challenged me at one point and he was, why do you keep saying you guys like you're this completely separate entity? Um, a few weeks later, we were back home and I could hear sound check happening just for a regular PM service. Um, and it was just the start of You Rain. You Rain hadn't come out yet. I think it was like the first week they were playing it. And I could just hear the riff, the do 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 do. I just sort of broke off from the conversation I was having, just left that person over here and just walked into the auditorium and it was just, it's like, I think that was, that was a big moment for me that sort of all came together. I really felt there was like, there's power on what's happening here. This is something different. And I was like, you know what? I'm in, let's do it. I was 20 years old when I led my first worship, full worship song. I was jumping around and my shoe flicked off into the congregation um, and that was embarrassing enough but the next part was that whoever it hit, they threw it back up on the stage <laughs> and I was like, all right, I guess I'll put that on. So yeah, sometimes it doesn't look all perfect for sure. <laughs> You know, we've been uh, doing our worship for quite a, lo a lot of years now and uh, it's just got bigger and stronger. So we started off as City Point Live because that was our band name. We'd send people around as a band and now we're global. We've got locations all around the world. Uh, we need a, 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 bigger, a bigger surrounding, a bigger premise to build off. So going from City Point Live to City Point Worship is not changing, it's just expanding. It's just and uh, in, in getting it to a bigger place so we can keep moving into our future. I think the reason why I'm so excited personally about City Point Worship and this new expansion is seeing new worship leaders leading our church and other churches into the throne room of God with the gift that's on their life of worship leading and also seeing new songwriters with an incredible gift, not only just to songwrite, but to usher in the presence of God intentionally for people's lives is what excites me most about this new season we're about to embark on. I really love how us as a team, we're constantly encouraged to passionately pursue the things of God and pursue the heart of worship. Um, it's really exciting to see that when there's room and space created for us to do that, that the natural worship expression that comes out is one that's truly just Christ focused. It's such a beautiful and profound thing 
to see what's happening in our worship here in our church. But it's so encouraging to see that taking place outside of our four walls and going into the world. The reason why we keep writing songs is because God's always downloading something fresh to us. There's a new revelation, there's a new thing, a new facet of His being that He's showing us. And we try our very best to, I guess, capture this, capture the sound, capture the heart of God and put it into song uh, so that we can lead people into His presence with the very thing that He's downloaded to us personally.